Hi, my name is Sarah Wilson, and I'm a sophomore at Nyack College. I started to notice something weird last year, my freshman year coming in. It was around my third game. I started to notice my legs were giving out, and I started to fall over. Like, I would go up for a layup or something, and my, I would come down, and my legs would just give out. And I've never had anything like that because I played three sports in high school. I never had to worry about my legs not being strong enough. I also started to notice they weren't picking up when I ran. Like, I would run, and my feet wouldn't come up, like, the way they normally would. And my teammates would start yelling to me, like, pick up your feet, Sarah, pick up your feet. And I would be like, what are you talking about? Like, I wouldn't even notice sometimes until I would, like, trip. And then, um, which really, which, the thing that really scared me was when I was going to the game. I think it was the fourth game, like, so the next game. I was about to go in, like, I played, like, one quarter and I was going in. And as I stood up, like, I fell over and I was just like, what the? My, my teammates helped me out, my friends helped me out. And I went into the game, but I was just like, what the heck just happened? Like. That was so weird because my knees just buckled. Everything just like gave out. And so I started to talk to my doctor about it because at the time I had a whooping cough. I had a really bad cough. So he was like, maybe it's just the medicine I'm giving you. Like it's just making your legs feel weird, all this stuff. And at first I was like, okay, maybe that's the case because I have been sick for a little while. Like that's just got to be the case because I didn't know what else would be causing it. And so time went by though and I got over my cough and I still could not like... My legs were just getting weaker. My arms just, I didn't have energy like I used to. And so I saw the team doctor and they noticed my feet weren't responding to walking like normal people would. Stuff like that, I didn't really notice. I lost my reflexes really quickly. That was weird. And so I saw the team doctor and he told me to go see a neurologist. And that's what I did. And they told me to go see an infectious disease doctor. They didn't do any tests on me yet. And because they thought I had Lyme's disease because I tested positive or a false negative, something. I don't really know Lyme disease, but they thought maybe I had that. And then they told me to go see it. Then that doctor told me to go see a doctor at Penn. And at Penn, I got a lot of tests done. And I didn't, like, get any real answers for it. And it would be like, I'd go one month and I would, like, get some tests done. And then I would be gone the whole month. And by the time I go back, I'd be gotten worse. And they still don't know what's wrong. And so... We did that for a few months, and I got to the point where I was on arm crutches and not moving around very well, and I got so weak to the point I didn't even want to, like, walk anywhere. I didn't want to, like, do much because I was very weak. I still was on the team, but I wasn't playing, and so that was that was discouraging. I wanted to play really bad, and my mom found another doctor in, in New York City at NYU named Dr. Younger. I was hesitant to go because I already had seen so many doctors, and I really didn't, like, have it a reason to go. I was just like, my doctor's going to figure it out. Like, we don't need to keep going. And I crushed myself to the doctor at NYU. And he told me, Dr. Younger, when he first saw me, he noticed like, obviously something was wrong. And he did a physical exam on me. And then he did a tails table test. And that test, if you have POTS, and I did have POTS, like it turned out, I didn't know what we were doing. It was kind of weird. But I would like lay on a table and he basically was testing things. I don't know, my blood sugar or something? I don't really know. But then he did a nerve conduction test and found out I had, like, major, like, defi like my, my nerves didn't respond the way they should, basically. And so by the second visit, I was diagnosed with CIDP, chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy. I was, I didn't know what it was, and I still don't really understand it, but I do know that there's treatment for it. And so Dr. Younger right away got me right on IVIG, like, as soon as possible. And within, like, um, three treatments, so I had treatment once a week for four hours. In, in the beginning, I had treatment once a week for four hours. And then I would go, like, the whole rest of the week, and I would start getting my energy back. Not only that, but my arms, like, felt really good. Like, all of a sudden, like, after, like, three four treatments, I felt really different. I started to feel like my legs, I could pick them up a lot better because before I would drag them when I walked and stuff. But the arm crutches like were easier for me to use because my arms felt stronger and I was getting around a lot better. By like month two or three, like I was getting treatment still once a week, I think by month two, but by month three, I think that's when I switched over to once a month, like the full dose, but all in one time. So it's like six hours and six hours, two days in a row instead of once a week, one day for four hours. So at this point, I'm getting treatment once a month and I'm learning to walk again. I'm regaining my strength so much that I'm walking like um, I'm, 
at first I was like taking steps, but then I was like walking like really well with my braces on. And then I was walking without my braces on. And then I started to jog on the treadmill with my physical therapist because I would go like twice a week, I think, to physical therapy. And I would just be working on my feet, my legs the whole time. And then I would go see Dr. Younger and I would give it a nerve test. And the nerve test would show that my nerves have been getting better. Or if I would just see him, he would do an exam, he would notice like my feet would pick up a little bit more that day. And then I just felt like I was improving every time I saw him. And I always felt like I was like good news, like I was always doing better. And even now I feel like I'm still improving and I'm still getting somewhere. I'm playing basketball right now and I wear AFO braces. They basically help me pick up my feet because my feet are catching up still.